What's up, my peoples? How you doing today? Um, this is currently about noon on Wednesday. I think it was yesterday. I was scrolling through something and I seen Johnny Cash, his name or a picture or something. And all of a sudden, his energy has been in my realm ever since. It may have something to do with the times right now. People struggling. People having to be home. Coronavirus. Mental issues. Something's going on here. But I feel like he's got some messages here to share. Back in the day, I loved karaoke. I would go to a local bar, have some drinks with friends, and sing karaoke. And Johnny Cash was a few of my favorites. Rain of Fire. I walked the line. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down, down, down. The flames got higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Probably get dinged for that. But anyway. A lot of things are going through my mind about this. The energy. Unfortunately, it feels very sad. And uh, we'll see what he has to say here. Come join me, Johnny Cash. He's showing me June. Incredible love and support for his wife, June. The woman who stood by me through thick and thin in all my troubles. See, I was an abusive man. Abusive man to myself. I didn't trust my faith enough. I didn't have the will. I used and abused alcohol, other ladies, drugs. It's not an excuse to be part of the industry. Entertaining. The cars, the lights, the people comes with drinks. And indulgence. See, at first, it's just good times.
and then you get wrapped up in it all. And it becomes a vicious cycle. My first wife, a lovely lady, a woman of descent, being young it thought, felt like a, a whirlwind romance. that I couldn't love anyone more. But I betrayed that love. And she couldn't take no more. I put my soul into my music and took my own life in the dark times into that music. I tried to explain the good, the bad, and the ugly. Persecution happens all over. whether it be in prisons, social injustice, people of color, people of different descent. It's wrong. It brings me to why I wear black. Partially for my own dark soul. But currently I feel black is a sign of times. Many young lives are being lost right now and other lives. So many unnecessary lives. So I continue to wear black for all these people that have passed. And there's some wonderful souls joining right now. Entertainers, comedians, are joining this wonderful realm of acceptance and love. See, I was a bit misguided. I had my faith. I tried to reveal and believe in my own faith. I tried to help others. But in essence, my soul was too weak to do for myself what I believed in. that vicious cycle that drug me down into that ring of fire. My faith was not strong enough. Even though 
June and I tried to do our best to help those who struggle. We had charity. We had a second love. We had a second love for helping those who could not help themselves in poor country. Giving back in that way gave me more of a sense of purpose than music. That's why I walked the line. I walked the line between heaven and hell. I walked a dangerous line. But the process here on earth to walk your own line and have faith in yourself. If you don't have faith in yourself, you can't have faith in anyone else. Justice is unfair. Too many people are in prison that should not be in prison. I wear black for them. I wore black for our fallen soldiers. I wore black for myself. Until our world can be healed and have more fairness, my soul will continue to wear black. I want you to reach out to those that are struggling. that are having mental issues and give them your love and support. For this has been a difficult time for many. Many have reached for the drink or the drug. Things are on the upswing. But after the fact, some need to break free. Unlike how I was not completely able to break free. I ask you become one with spirit in God in Jesus and believe that all is real because I will be ever known as the man in black We all want you to heal. Well, that's all I got there. That'll be a little longer.
but Johnny's smooth voice was something to behold. I enjoyed his music. Easy to sing music. You know, we all go through our times, our struggles, divorce, addiction, it's what courage we have to break free that defines us, it makes us better people. I went through some dark times when I was going through my divorce. I wanted to escape and I gambled and I gambled bad. See, I thought I could use spirit and gamble. So I was facing money issues, legal bills. And the funny thing is I never did before. My buddy who was a, a bookie hit me up one night when I was in the bar having a drink and a hamburger and fries. Hey, you want to make a bet? I never have. I made a bet. A few bets, actually. And I won. Oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. For a long, I was betting big. Up and down, up and down. Spirit gave me a few wins. I won an 18 parlay twice. Gave me a break to get out. I was greedy. It took losing pretty much everything. And struggling. To finally say no more. So I'm not perfect. I learned a lot of lessons. Love, money. Relationships. Within my own family, there's been some issues. Um, my great-grandfather was a alcoholic. So luckily that addictions hasn't passed down to anyone I know of in the family. Sometimes we got to learn those hard, hard lessons in order to break free. So maybe sometimes when I, I have no skin in the game of any prediction of uh, sports. Usually I'm, you know, pretty accurate. Because I don't bet. You know, there's no skin, but I think sometimes if uh, someone is thinking about placing a bet and they may say it, I think the wrong answer will come. That was pretty, I was really good at picking for other people. 
I give other people, friends or whatever, tips and what I who I think would win. But they would get visually <clears throat> greedy too. Come back again, and I get the wrong answer. I think it's part of the lesson that it's not a good thing to gamble and get in that racket. So like the other day, uh, someone asked if uh, um, Ben Rosenberger is going to win his last game. And uh, we were getting no. <laughs> well, he ended up winning in overtime. Spirit's kind of funny because it's not his last game. How the question was posed because now he's in the playoffs. So obviously, Pittsburgh's not going to win the Super Bowl and he's going to lose his last game. Spirit will give you the right answer. It's how you pose the question. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found it uh, enlightening to break any chains that you need to break in your own life. Whether it's destructive with substances or addictions, or just being uh, rude and angry to family or whatever it is. And if they are, release them. Release that family. Whoever it is. Releasing toxic toxicity in our life makes everything so much better. And speaking of that, with money problems, it always seems like it goes right to the back. Because when I was struggling all those years, I had so much low back pain. I was always in the chiropractor. I swear, struggles go right to your back. Sure seems like it anyway. So anyway, Love and light to all. I hope you find it cool. Blessings.